What's going on everyone? It's Dr. Sean Brewer, the physical therapy application coach where pre-PT equals DPT. Today I'm going to be sharing a video with you talking about what is the purpose behind application essays. I feel like a lot of applicants as they're approaching me and they're asking for help, I'm seeing a lot of common errors or common mistakes. And one of the things I keep asking myself when I read some of these drafts I'm getting is, do these applicants even know why we write application essays? And I think a lot of people don't because they, they don't know what to share, they don't know what content is relevant or valid. And those things are so important, are so crucial. So I wanted to dispel this and to talk about this. And this is, again, I'm someone who I've reviewed application essays for students that were being invited to attend interviews at NAU, at NAU's DPT program, right? When I was a student, I was invited to do that. I've sat on interview panels with faculty and alumni and actually was a part of vetting students to help them get into PT programs. So I, I'm not just someone puffing smoke. I'm someone who's actually like been through this process and seen what it takes. And that uh, the things that I've discovered have been corroborated time and time again across the country with different programs. So the purpose of your application essay, you have threefold parts the way that I look at it. So number one is if you are applying to a program that does not have interviews, your essay is to help you get an acceptance offer in addition to everything else that's with your application. So it has to be super strong, right? The second purpose would be if you are applying to a program that does have interviews, it's to help you secure an interview invite so then you can go and show your best self during an interview. And the third point is to show admissions committees why you are an awesome, amazing applicant and person and why they would want you above anyone else to come to their program. And what I'm seeing so many applicants do is they are bringing up time and time again the decisions they made about why to become a physical therapist and they aren't sharing anything about them that is compelling or interesting or makes me want to get to know them more or to invite them to come to my program. And that that's honestly how I look at all of these. I look at each each essay draft that I'm sent as if I'm someone on a, an admissions committee. And I, I vet it, vet the essay based on that. And then obviously I turn on my coach hat and I say, okay, well, these are all the problems we have. This is how we can beef this up. And it's, it's hard for applicants because you need to show people how awesome you are. But the avenue to do that, you feel like you have to just talk about, you know, how amazing you are. And that can sound really cocky, conceited, you sound arrogant, and it's not believable. But there's a way that you can share your strengths and be interesting and engaging with people. And I, I feel like I'm beating a dead horse because I talk about this in each of my videos. But you have to share your strengths with these admissions committees so that way they are, can look at you and look at your essay and say, yes, this these are the attributes we're looking for in people who come to our program. We need to either invite this person to an interview, accept them to our program, whatever it is, right? Like they need to get to know you more. That's what you want your essay to do. And you can do that by using stories that showcase your strengths. So that way the stories are doing the heavy lifting. It's kind of like the movie Inception where you aren't necessarily telling someone that you're amazing at this, but you're showing them that you are by telling them a story that showcases those strengths. And I talk about this time and time again, this is not new, but it's so difficult for people to do because they, they aren't used to writing like this. This is a new writing form and it takes practice and it takes someone who's been doing it for years to teach you how to do it in a shortened time, right? Like your application cycle it seems really long, but the amount of time you want to spend on your essays and the amount of time that this is gonna impact your future career, you wanna get this right the first time, I'm telling you. So if you are struggling with your PTCAS or other application essays, send me a DM, send me an email, let's talk about this, okay? Never forget why you write application essays because if you do, you're going to write something that is uninspiring or it's forgettable. Or if, if they could switch out another applicant's name and put it on your essay and it wouldn't be any different, 
That's a problem. You need this to be your essay that talks about you and why you are amazing. Not just why you're interested in PT. Obviously, they know you're interested in PT. You're applying to PT school. I hope you've done your research to know what that means. So that's a given. But what else are you going to share with them? What else are you going to be able to provide as, in terms of compelling evidence that you are the best person to get accepted into their program? Okay. So that's my, that's my rant for today. Um, I'm grateful for all the applicants I'm working with. I still have spots available to continue to work and coach with other applicants as well. So if you have questions about the options that are available for that, send me a DM, email me at info at physicaltherapyapplicationcoach.com and we can talk about options that fit you, your needs, and your budget. Okay? Take care, guys. Have a great one.